block up to my feet, hurt the slayer, yeah, yeah. better yeah. off work to the good, I don't pay, yeah, I don't took a ride, I don't come in, yeah, I don't take a ride, right, right, man, right, before we even start out, man, <coughs> I see you representing the coon. <coughs> Man, R.I.P. Coon. Yeah, R.I.P. Coon, man. Me and Coon go back way back, man. Man, I see, man. Like, man, how you end up hooking up with Coon? Oh, man, uh, shit. I, um, after I stopped, you know, doing music, I went into writing mag for magazines, like local magazines. Right. Uh, the first one I wrote for was Zigzag Magazine, which is called MAP, which means Music Access Papers. So right. I was writing for him for a little bit. And um, then after him, I started writing for D.N.L. He had uh, The Streets Magazine. So right. I wrote for him for a little bit. And it was just kind of freelancing, not really getting paid or nothing like that. So I decided to just do it on my own, just write. But I wasn't writing for no magazine. I was just writing for myself and just posted it on. Back then, it was MySpace. Right. So I had me a little MySpace channel just going, you know, looking at artists. And then all of a sudden, artists start coming to my page. And they was asking me, like, you know, come out to the show and kind of check us out. So I'll go out and write about them on my, my page and they'll remark and, and you know, I give them a good description of what I think they sound like. And right. a lot of times it matches what they sound like. So as I did that, uh, I started going back into hip hop more because I was doing a lot of rock um, magazine, um, I guess you could say interviews. And um, I hooked up with Kundalini one time, uh, which is out there at a show, we was talking and I was like, you know, I like what you're doing. I write, so I just want to just take photos and shit like that. So, basically, got out there, took photos, and then me and him would just like he'll invite me out a lot more. I just came talk to our artists, kind of met a lot of artists at the time, and um, me and him was hooked up. And before we died, we were supposed to have been doing a bigger promotion on some other stuff, but you know, we, we never got it all together. All right. Like that that same week, we had start talking about it, and then like that. I think it was a Wednesday, I believe. It was in the middle of the week. I got a, I called him and his. I think it was mom picked up the phone and said he passed away. And then I was like, dang, you know, I, that was it for that. You know what I mean? So right. I had to do something different. But that, that's how I met him, man. Me and him, we had some big plans, but we we didn't get a chance to do it. Man, rest in peace, Coon. Nah, man. facts, man. It was a good man, thing. He, Hey, yeah, he uh, he touched a lot of artists, yeah. out, you know what I'm saying? A lot of artists, you no, know. For real, for real. Yeah, he was he was basically he was almost he was almost that screw here, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Really, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, like, let's get to you, man. Let's 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 start it out, man. So, be icy, be icy, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Like, where they come about? The name? Mm -hmm. Oh man, uh, it means something. So the B means being, the I means in, the C means control, the the Y means y'all, and the E means extremely. So being in control, y'all extremely. So whatever I do, I want to be in control of it extremely. That way, I have more control of what's going to happen. You know. What right. I mean? So I always went by that. You know what I mean, it, it B I C E that that all stands for just being in control, y'all extremely. So whatever you're doing. Make sure you're in control of what you're doing. Don't let nobody dictate how you live your life. Facts, so facts. be in control of it. So that's 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 how I came up with it. And it just stuck with it and, and people shorten it to just B I. So right. like people who know me, like back in the gap, they'll like, yo, B I, what's up? You know what I mean? So right. everybody know me that by B I. B I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel it. So where are you from, man? Uh, originally, uh I started out, man, I was born in Terrell, Texas, to be honest. Uh, okay. we, we moved here when I was like uh, five, five years old. Um, we moved to Oak Cliff for a minute, and uh, my mom, she had like, six kids, so so we kind of moved around a lot. So moved to Oak Cliff, then South Dallas, then back to Oak Cliff, then we ended up uh, in North Dallas in Lumesco Village, the project's out there, man. So we moved out there when I was about... Uh, I was still in elementary, man. So I had to have been like seven, eight, eight years old when we moved right, out there. Right. So I, it was a whole different. Like back then, it was nothing but Hispanics and Asians at the time. So it kind of opened my eyes to different things. You know what I mean? Like the right. cultures was different. So, but as as time progressed, man, a lot of the, the Asians moved out first, and then the Mexicans moved out first, and then it was nothing but black folks at that time. Right, right. So, what it was like living amongst the Asian 
in the Mexicans at that time because Little Mexico, especially that area, and, you know, AP, Arlington Park and all that, that was, you know, Maple Projects. That yep. was that was always on the news or it was always on, uh, you remember the show Gerardo, Gerardo? Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah the Mexican dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. always he used to always do specials oh, over yeah. there. You know what I'm saying? Man, so. you tell you, man, New <laughs> Mexico was the shit back then, right? right? Because you know they had Cinco de Mayo and Pike Park was the shit, man. That's why I learned how to hoop a lot. You know what I mean? Um, it was fun, man, because you know, like I said, I was I'm used to just country shit like soul food and all right. that stuff. But when I got around a different of variety of people I, it opened my perspective on different foods different languages i learned how to speak spanish a little bit better mm. i learned laotian a little better i would just you know just inversed in these these different races and, and, and cultures man it was right. fun man and, and spanish culture was my, my shit though because you know like my mom she became friends with one of the ladies over there and, and like her son was like he be, he actually became a big time drug dealer but he went to prison for a minute and came back and left it alone, but he was like our bodyguard at the time, right. you know, because he well, nobody would fuck with him because his mom was and my mom's a friend, so anybody fuck with us, they were fucking with him. So okay, yeah, so yeah, shout out two times, you know what I'm saying? No facts, man. <laughs> so like, what what intrigued you um, about music? You know, ah oh, shit, man. Uh, to be honest, my I was more of a poet. I mean, I like to write poetry and. That's one of my favorite things to do. I actually got a book out on Amazon, to be exact. And it's called Serendipity. Right. And uh, I just and the poetry from there, a lot of it came from when I was in high school. You know, what I'm talking about just like going through heartbreaks with, with certain female, um, just living in the struggle. You know, what I mean, all that shit just kind of compiled into poetry, and the poetry became music. You know. But it didn't really start out as music. What well, DSC started out as just like three niggas just wanted to, you know, just have have each other's back. Right. You know I mean, and it grew from there, like it, from three to like twenty. Right. Real quick, and then that twenty, the three that started it, one of the main kids, Nappy, Nappy, mm. he was a rapper, and then Larry, his cousin Nugget, okay. at the time he was a rapper. I wasn't really rapping, but. You know, poetry and rap to me is almost the same thing. Right, right. So then you're like, hey, man, let's just let's, stop let's being, you know, we was hanging around with a lot of bloods at the time. So we was just really banging, you know, right. being badass kids. And we just trying to get out of the streets as 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 young teenagers, basically 19, you know, 20 years old at the time. It was pretty young. And um, we just pretty much got out the streets and started doing music, man. My cousin, he was a DJ, so he gave us a drum machine. So we would be in there making beats, writing to them hoes, and all of a sudden, you know, we just had a little flow, you know what I mean? Right. And then Nap went off and what was took doing you shows, and we so did a show at Kimball one time. I could have walked the way I wanted to go. Man, I love you. Shit. Yeah. And fucked up my high. Give me a light. A light. That's some good shit. <laughs> 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 Where you get that shit from, Mom? I got it from Columbia, motherfucker.